Hi and welcome to Old School Blues Guitar. It is time for the classic electric blues introduction for the months of April, May, and June 2017. By request, we're going to do a lesson for the beginning of Otis Rush's All Your Love, which is one of the most memorable song intros in, in the whole history of electric blues. It, before we get into this, I'm doing this according to my knowledge, and I'm right-handed, so I'm playing my strap. Right-handed, Otis Rush was left-handed, and he played his upside down. Is that the word I'm looking for? And so this, that's part of the reason he got the sound he did. If you want to see him doing that, check out some of the videos of him playing on YouTube. But anyway, I'm going to show you the tune according to the original Cobra recording. In fact, I'm going to play this for you right now, and then we'll break it down. Here's the introduction to Otis Rush's All Your Love. <laughs> song. It's one of the most incredible guitar solos and vocal performances and of course the introduction is pretty cool too. And I had one of my subscribers request this so we're going to go through it. A little while back I did the solo for Otis Rush's All Your Love so that's out there too. So the beginning of the song, it's, if you listen to the recording it's an F sharp. So everything he's going to play is going to be based on, on this first position F sharp bar chord. That first lick where he goes, not sure exactly where he starts it, where he ends it, but pretty much watching on YouTube and looking at some of the other guys who play this tune and you know make it sound reasonably like the original, it's just kind of wherever. That's the first lick you're going to get into. So I'm sliding from the fourth fret of the third string, which is in that F sharp bar chord shape. And I'm sliding way up, way down, way up, almost to the to the 12th or 13th frets. So it's <laughs> you just gotta mess around with it and see if you can get it to sound like the original. If that's what you're shooting for, otherwise that that part is probably the toughest part of this is getting that to sound cool. And then this part. This isn't so hard, but he's bending the third string at the fourth fret. And then ending up on the second fret of the third string with a slight bend. So it's... He's bending up, kind of letting it come down. A little pull off on the third, from the fourth to the second. And then to the fourth fret of the fourth string back to the second fret of the third string. I've got the tab for this. So, and you got the horns in the background. Boom, 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 boom. And he does this climbing thing. Starting on the second fret of the fifth string, with a little hammer on maybe, or he could just come down and Something like that. You could play it either way and it sounds cool. So, so far we've got... And he's just going... Climbing, second, fourth on the fifth string, same thing on the fourth string, then again winding up on the second fret of the third string. and the horns are doing in the background. So the whole thing so far. That's a really cool lick. And Otis Rush, a lot of his sound is just letting those notes sound out, especially on the high note. You know, he just gets this just crying, soulful stuff, but he does it this time on the third string. So the he does the, the smear again, or the slide. It's 
So it's does the bend same way he did it in the first verse. And now he's going to hammer on from the second fret of the third string to the fifth fret. And then do the vibrato on that. That's what I'm hearing when he does this. So the whole introduction so far played slowly. So the next lick, he's going to do that same bass climb again on the fifth and the fourth string. And when I listen to it over and over and very loudly and very carefully, I hear him doing this band on the third string, fifth, fourth fret, and then kind of letting it almost a pull off, and then a slight bend up on the th second fret of the third string, so like this. And I hear that. If you, if you listen to the recording, that's, that's what I'm hearing. Maybe that's not what he's doing, but that's what I hear. So let's do the whole thing so far. And so there's the next lick, which is really cool. He's doing that walk on the bass. So, so the second to the fourth on the fifth string, same thing on the fourth string, and then he's sliding into this double stop on the second and third string. So he's sliding second finger from the fifth to the sixth fret of the third string, and the first finger is on the, I'm going to wind up on the fifth fret of the second string. And you hear that note, so it's like that. Really cool lick, so it's. And then that's the end of the introduction. So let's do that lick again. So you're starting. Like that. Let's do the whole thing to this point. That's the last part. So this little bass run, that's what I'm hearing at the end. And I'm not sure if the guitar is playing that or the bass is playing it. So let's take it from that last leg. Then he goes into the first verse of the tune. So there is the introduction for Otis Rush's All Your Love. Let's go through it a couple more times real slow. So we'll start out. That's what I'm hearing. So you can listen to it yourself and see what you think, but that's what I get. I watched on YouTube and I looked for different blues bands and different groups playing the song. And even watched some of the old Otis Rush. Otis Rush didn't play it the same way, you know, as he did on the early recording. Later when he played it live, he doesn't does some variations and but he doesn't play it this way. So this is the original, the introduction for the original version of All Your Love. And you know, this is pretty cool stuff. Hopefully this is a good lesson for you. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. If you're playing this tune with a band, you can play the original introduction. Or you can just get some ideas, you know, how to... That's a cool
cool lick right there that you could work in in a lot of different ways to your, to your playing in, in almost any key. A lot of guys that I see playing this are playing G. G minor. It's F sharp minor on the original recording, but you could play it in different keys too. Have any questions, comments, let me know. I'll have the tab up in about a week or so. I'm going to make sure it's clean and free of mistakes. And I will be back with another classic blues introduction in a couple months. See you then.